Thank you for joining me, fellow Guardians. This is Sam from Multiverse Mission Control, and today's quest is Shadow of the Colossus. So, here on the map you can see where Valus, where I found him, because there's his face. And the map will be similarly potmarked in the future. I remember the first few times I played the game. I did not... I didn't really like the idea that <laughs> maybe I wasn't doing the right thing. Cause bef because when I was a kid, I was always playing games to be the hero, to be the good guy, to feel good about myself. Um, so I didn't like the idea that maybe, <laughs> that maybe this wasn't the right thing to do at all. But again, we still don't know for sure either way. It's never explicitly stated in this, but, um, one thing I realized growing up is that often, whoa, rumbly. is that often you have to commit to actions even even if it doesn't feel like a 100% fairy tale ending so i think this game helped me gain some more some more comfort with the idea of duality and some more strength to muster up in the face of situations like that. I mean, I'm always a big advocate of being the world you want to see. Nice and kind, forgiving. Um, but this is a weird world. Sometimes ideas aren't as solid as we'd like to believe. So... You know, if you're gonna be in a situation where people are gonna call you a bad guy, you should know what that feels like. You should know how to kind of resist that at times, I guess. Of course, it is also important to know when to hold back, and honestly, maybe Wander shouldn't be in this valley at all, but, well, too late. Ladies and gentlemen, Quadratus! The bull. The trophy calls it the sloth. But I don't really buy that. I look at those hooves. Look at those horns. But then again, these thing guys are always like combinations of things, so maybe it's a bull sloth. Oh boy. Alright, Agro! You've done well getting me here. Now scamper off. I've got business to attend to. Now I was fully expecting this guy to crush me like an elephant does with its head. But in actuality, its mode of attack requires you to raise thy courage, as Dormin told you. It's blue eyes when it's just wandering around, red eyes when it's on the attack. He tries to step on me. And reveals a weak spot. Silly goose. You should see the Game Grumps play this. What they do with this guy is hilarious. Uh, but... I'm in the mode now. Epic confrontation time. And the music always changes whenever you've gained the upper hand. Sometimes it's epic. Sometimes it's triumphant. But there's always a change. Better just to clear the distance quickly, yeah? Don't want to waste too much stamina. Right. So there's one weak spot on the backside here. And they only glow when you have the sword equipped. That's important to know. Yep. Oh, god. So there are two major weak spots on this guy. I'm going to have to hit both of them. But first, 
No, no, butt first. I'm doing the butt first. Jostling me around a bit. Sometimes you can't even get the full stab in, so you have to settle for the little ones. Alright. So that one disappeared. That's all the more I can do with that. And I'm And as they move around, you sometimes just tumble on their surface. Like rocked by the sheer force. Like a little burr <laughs> on your coat or something. I don't know. Oh boy! Now there's one I need to say. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, 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 alright. Whoop! It's gonna try to shake me off. But I have the strength of a refrigerator magnet! Actually, no, that's not a good one. The strength of... Hmm, what's something that holds on really tightly and never lets go? Oh, a lizard! When it clamps its jaws on something. Oh, God. I'm actually running out of stamina. I need to... I need to stand up for a bit. Take my chance. I can always press R1 to quickly grab on again, but... Sometimes you do need to chance of them throwing you off to regain your your power. And you can't start stabbing when Wander's still stumbling or he'll just start stumbling again. Like he he, he loses his grip and his nerve a bit. Okay. Here we go! No, no. The timing is weird to get down. Whew. We were so happy just a minute ago. And you can do nothing to escape the black tendrils, no matter what, I'm afraid. They always get me in the end. You can hide under the classes, you can run as far as you can, you can raise your sword to the light and see that it sparkles in every direction, but no avail. That's uh, that's just something we gotta live with, <laughs> apparently. The sloth! It's a bull! It's a bull sloth, probably. Whatever. Dos shadows! Dos sombras! And two idols down. I'm expecting to get through this much quicker than I could, but I might eat my words on that. Thy next foe is... The giant enemy source of the heavens. The anger of the sleeping giant shatters the earth. Now this one is actually pretty tough to find, because you go through a shadowed canyon, so you can't really raise your sword to the light and have your Colossus radar going. You get glimmers here and there, but most of the time you have to take a path, stick to it, and hope you made the right choice. Remember this was quite an embuggerance to get to, and why am I so bad at getting on my horse? That's gonna kill me later. Mark my words. Okay, but where do we get started? I believe it's on the right side, uh, if I remember correctly. Sorry, Agar, I didn't mean to steer you into the wall there. Oh, my loyal steed! Through thick and thin, helping me face down giant monsters. I do not deserve you in the slightest. No, sir. 
Or maybe it's back across the other bridge. Yeah. You can tell this is gonna go well. <clears throat> anyway. Hmm? Nah. That's across the way. Random structure. I thought it was somewhere I could get to. Yeah. Anyway. So. Yeah, I think it's on this side. And if you look to your right, you'll see... Wait. Where are you? No, that is him. Looked like a giant rock. I think. Wait. Stop. This is important, damn it. He didn't fall where I slew him. Because I was certain he was between the pillars. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Unlike Yorda, only one call to Agro is all you need. Agro's a good horse. So, this way. You won't always be able to go as the crow flies either. Because, uh... Sometimes there are walls. Sometimes there are, like, cliffs. Yeah, so... Sometimes you gotta get a little tricksy. I believe I hit, like, a miniature shrine on the way here, and then I can orient myself. Oh wait, no! It's... Right here. How in the blazes did I ever get lost on this guy? I'm... I'm freaking disappointed in myself! I mean, granted, I've clearly learned since then. I've clearly grown wiser. My brain has more, uh, more neurons, more neural pathways and all, but, like, damn! <laughs> I feel stupid! <laughs> oh, well. So, right at the top there. That's going to be our confrontation. Fortunately, there is nothing nasty in the water. I can take all the time I need to swim over there. And, uh, swimming doesn't cost stamina unless you dive, in which case it's like oxygen. But in that case, uh, running out of stamina is not just falling off and having to start over, it's death. Because you will suffocate and die. <laughs> Drowning. Not the best way to go. Alright. So. And Wander is surprisingly tough for multiple reasons. Uh, just like being able to hang onto the giant without being shaken off for one. I'll uh, clearly trained with the bow. I don't know about the sword, he, he kind of just swings wildly. Um, but also like, most of their attacks won't really do much. Uh, it's only the later ones that have a good shot of killing you <laughs> instantly. So if he can take some punishment, my man. Ah, oh, God! No! I think we all make that mistake starting off. There are even many who make mistakes, even knowing full well what happens there. Whoa, that was 
when you put the camera under. Oh, the water effects, man. Oh, these guys. These guys are something else. This was PS2 era! <laughs> All right, do it right this time. Yep. No. Ah! I beg your indulgence for just a moment more. Too bad there's not a go faster button. Be mashing that like crazy. But no, you only get that when you're on the horse. Okay, one more shot. One more shot. I'm sure I got it this time. Camera, do not. No. Uh, this is not a good angle. I want... Fine. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. People make a lot of mistakes at this part too, though. So, okay. You gotta turn... Okay. That's not right. No, you gotta... You gotta face. You gotta hold down on the control stick. Yeah! And hold R1 as you leap. Don't let go of it. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Alright, now we just run up this side here. Get a shot at that interesting stone pile on the way up. Oh, wait, that are not a pile! Ladies and gentlemen, Colossus number three, Gaius, the Knight. And this guy is more stoned than anything, but he's still got the furry patches. Alright, so. This guy took me forever to bloody figure out. Even Dorman's hint wasn't, uh... Oh my god. And we're just gonna keep running. Uh, I mean, he's really slow, but you still don't want to be in the way of that, huh? Now, you can run up that sword for a bit, but it won't avail you much, because he's got these things on his wrist that block you from proceeding. Also, he can step on you. Pretty intentionally. I actually need to draw him away here. Come along then. Surely you can do better than that, mate. Alright, there's one where you can stab straight down as well. Guy. You're more directly underneath him. <laughs> Playing this game really helped me grow some nerves, I'm sh I think, because I remember my first time playing this, I was terrified to look up and see that, but now I'm just like, eh. Ow. <laughs> so, what you do is you hang out on this thing for a bit. And you hope for the big over-the-shoulder attack he's been doing. Anything else won't do, you see. And you gotta wait to the last possible instant. Boom! And the shock recoils up his arm and breaks off his armor. And with that, the way is opened. And that's actually the... The Opened Way is the name of this theme as well. Ow! <laughs> Darn. I need him to do that again. Run 
among the night. I wonder if you're the reason I was able to do the Tower Knight so well, actually. In Demon Souls. It's like I fought this before. Something like this. Right, I need I need to do the overhead chop thing you were doing before. Please. This is kind of important for this episode to progress. Uh, don't don't play games with me. Ah there we go. Good good guy. Good good. Ah shit. Oh, thank god. I was more on the edge that time. Need to get to the first. Uh, it's all right. There we go. Okay. I was prepared to catch the edge of the sword if I didn't make it this. Okay. So we just gotta get up and regain stamina here. Keep moving. All these ridges saving my life right now. You can hold R1 to walk slowly, but uh, you don't regain stamina while you do that. And you can still be thrown off at a moment's notice. If you're not careful, if you're not watching. Alright. So there's one on his head, and one on his gut. Uh, let go too soon. I assumed his broad shoulders were going to carry me. Okay, here we go. Gain a bit of stamina, and up. Easy does it. Here we go. Oh boy! Gonna try to shake me off. Cause the play is gonna play, 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 play. It is gonna... Okay. Here we go. Ah! It's also like... Which way is up when you're getting, uh. <laughs> when your camera's flipping all over the place? Oh god! Alright, alright, alright! Might have to retreat a bit. Didn't think I was gonna make it for so. Whoa! Had to jump. Okay! Go catch a breather. <laughs> Determination! No! I may not even be able to get a full stab in with him writhing like that. It wasn't centered. Oh boy. Uh, well, I lost the head, but I'm right next to another weak spot at the very least. Looks like I destroyed that symbol. 
Still gotta get the head though. I think I gotta jump to the wrist thingy from here. Yep. We're good. Okay. I remember Max, my brother, came in watch, watching me play this game. <laughs> and I had it in the house and he was, he was like, what are you playing? Shout out the classes. Oh, okay, I'm gonna leave the room now because there's a lot of screaming when people are playing this game. Uh, some of it happy, most of it angry, but you know, just, just a lot of screaming. Because it is quite possible to fall off quite a bit in the middle of one fight and uh, have to start over from square one a lot. And on the later fights, uh, with things that can kill you really effectively, uh, you just can't afford that many resets. Here we go! Oh boy. Gotta go for the little ones. No time for a great big stabberoo. Whoa! whoa, whoa. <sighs> it's so unnerving to just catch a little ridge in the middle of a free fall, because uh, rather the free fall itself is unnerving. Learning to catch during is how you win. Can't get it stable. There we go. Okay. Woo! That was close. I'm so tense I'm gonna have to get up and walk around a bit after this. Because my knee, my knee don't like me anymore. <laughs> and... Yeah, my toes was falling asleep earlier, but that's okay. They're good now. Okay! Usual spiel then. Fan! <laughs> and you hear Mono talking a bit too. During that little white flash thing. Which seems to indicate that. Whatever we're doing is having an effect. Maybe not a good one, but... Mm Okay. Well, this seems like a good pattern to go on then. Two colossi per. I'm estimating then just uh, off that. Hi, pony! Oh, he's a good horsey! He's the best horsey! My aggro. Aggro pony. Okay. So, if we stay consistent on that front. Two Colossi pair, there are 13 left, the last one being a doozy, of course. I'm thinking like six, seven episodes, something like that. So, next time, we're gonna fight Colossus number four, Phaedra. So, thank you all for tuning in. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And remember, you all have the potential to get good. Peace out.